Well, tensions remain high on the Korean Peninsula as the US and South Korea have started large-scale joint war games. Now, it comes amid continuing anger from Pyongyang. Prior to the drills, North Korea threatened a merciless strike and warned Washington of the risk of uncontrollable nuclear war. North Korea has condemned the drills and the attendance of top military commanders from the U.S. Pyongyang says their visit is seen as a sign that a preemptive U.S. strike against North Korea could be imminent. No one can vouch these huge forces concentrated in the South Korea will not go for an actual war action. Now, the military tensions have reached fever pitch on the Korean peninsula. Pyongyang's state-run media said on Monday that the drills were part of a plan by the U.S. and South Korea's, quote, puppet regime to launch a preemptive nuclear strike on the north. It added that the situation on the Korean peninsula was being thrown into further uncertainty due to Washington's, quote, warmongering. It also fired off a cryptic warning saying the U.S. and its partners would witness the consequences of the fire they have ignited. It explains why North Korea is considered such a wild card. On the same day, it basically says to the United States, stop these drills with South Korea. It airs a propaganda video on a state-controlled website, which is part of the official North Korean news agency, showing U.S. senior officials dying in a sea of fire with this quote, all North Korea needs to do is place its hand on a button and press it when the right time comes. The U.S. will live in fear and anxiety the whole time. The annual show of force will last for 10 days and simulate a military conflict. Pyongyang claims the drills practice an invasion, while the U.S. maintains they're defensive in nature. This year, more than 17,000 American troops are taking part with land, sea and air exercises, along with computer simulations. These war games have always frustrated North Korea, but things are a little different this year. This is the first time the U.S. and South Korea have held large-scale military exercises since North Korea successfully launched two intercontinental ballistic missiles in July. During war games in March, North Korea launched a number of missiles into the sea and what it called a rehearsal for striking U.S. military bases in Japan. And experts say this year's drills will almost certainly trigger a reaction from the North. The question is just how strong that reaction will be. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un has ordered a step-up in production of rocket engines and nuclear warheads for the regime's ballistic missiles. North Korea state-run media reports that Kim visited a chemicals research institute where he learned about the processes for manufacturing ICBMs. He then instructed the institute to expand production of both solid fuel rocket engines and rocket warhead tips. Uh, the regime has been looking to develop a solid fuel ICBM which would require less preparation time and would therefore be harder to detect. Solid fuel is also required for submarine launched ballistic missiles. South Korea's unification ministry responded to the claims on Wednesday warning that North Korea should stop any actions that raise tensions on the peninsula. The military exercises come after North Korea earlier said it would hold off on strikes, handing the next move to Washington. Let's remind you of how the recent crisis between Pyongyang and Washington has been unfolding. stand together uh, in the months and years ahead with the people of South Korea.
it is a very dangerous situation because um, what has happened in the past when uh, North Korea has actually um, attacked um, has always been that it attacked South Korean uh, military or naval targets. Uh, obviously, if it had attacked American um, forces, I mean, there would be retaliation. I don't think you should ever think of the declared intention to use what could be nuclear-armed um, weapons as an empty threat, because it is possible to use them, and uh, they have been used before. So this is a country that wants to be accepted as a nuclear power when the number one rule is you don't make idle threats, which explains why the U.S. is basically this debate that's going on in the administration and around the world. Is it too late to stop North Korea from developing a nuclear strike capability? And if not, how do you contain the threat? The U.S. is pursuing this dual track. Stop your nuclear program and we'll talk diplomacy while also preparing for conflict. We have had the responsibility of providing military options to our national leaders. And exercises are our way of making sure that the option is a ready option, it's a capable option. And that's what really underpins deterrence. So the war games last until the 31st and include some civil defense drills. Otherwise, most of the exercise is a computer simulation of different war scenarios, including a missile defense system designed to knock out as many North Korean nukes as possible. All I can say is I'm very confident with our missile defense capabilities. Uh, our missile defense capabilities that are deployed both uh, in Alaska and in California have the ability to intercept any threat against the United States. I'm also very confident about the capabilities that we've deployed here in the theater. So, John, in the beginning of this thing, you mentioned about those sanctions against certain Chinese and Russian companies. That's because most recognize the missile program out of North Korea today did not get where it is without some help, hence the sanctions that you're talking about. The annual combined military exercises between Seoul and Washington is well underway. The drill is designed to ensure the allies are fully prepared to defend against North Korea's evolving threats will run through the end of the month. And with North Korea ratcheting up its usual rhetoric against the drills, President Moon Jae-in had some strong words for the Kim Jong-un regime. He said the annual joint war games should not be used as a pretext for any further provocation. Moon Gun-young starts off. Full readiness against any possible provocation ordered South Korean President Moon Jae-in to his military as they launched their annual joint exercises with the U.S. on Monday. Speaking to his cabinet on the first day of the Ilchi Freedom Garden drills, the South's commander-in-chief also made clear the nature of the joint drills, which North Korea has long denounced as a war rehearsal to invade Pyongyang. This is 우리 국민의 생명과 안전을 보호하기 위한 민관 군의 방어 태세를 점검하기 위한 것입니다. 방어적 성격의 연례적인 훈련이며 북한은 평화를 지키기 위한 우리의 노력을 왜곡해서는 안될 것이며 이를 빌미로 상황을 악화시키는 도발적인 행동을 했어도 안될 것입니다. President Moon called out on the North leadership, saying it's in fact Pyongyang's continued provocations that make the Seoul-Washington joint drills necessary. The liberal leader did, however, reaffirm that the door-to-door dialogue for peaceful resolution remains wide open should the isolated regime choose to take that path. Pyongyang이 용기 있는 선택을 한다면 한반도로 둘러싼 군사적 대립이 완화되고 우리 스스로 한반도 평화를 지켜낼 수 있으며. 국제사회와 협력하여 안전과 번영의 미래를 가져올 수 있을 것입니다. Earlier in the morning, the president chaired a meeting of his National Security Council as Seoul and Washington forged ahead their first large-scale military exercise since North Korea successfully flight-tested two intercontinental ballistic missiles in July. President Moon ordered the two militaries to remain on high alert and vigorously strike back in the event of any hostile action by Pyongyang. Again, the ball has landed in North Korea's court. How Pyongyang responds in the next few days will largely determine the security situation in the Northeast Asian region. Now, experts say, however, that the move by Pyongyang will be carefully calculated this time around. 
given the recent tensions, and that should be an indicator of whether the leadership is, in fact, serious about some room for negotiations. This bird is seriously dangerous, but beautiful. Thank you for watching Right Wing. Your support really does mean the world to me. I hope you have an amazing rest of the day, and I will see you tomorrow.